Oshio, I'd like to just uh, talk to you a little bit here. Uh, you know about all these storms y'all heard, uh, and some of y'all live in some of these states that as uh, storms has come through, and there's a lot of you who um, hadn't went through it yet. But let me encourage you. Uh, you know, like here in Arkansas, I mean, you, you've heard on news, I mean, we've had it really rough. And, and it was, and I thank you for your prayers, brothers and sisters. Um, I mean, because the storms went around us here. And, and I thank God for that. But my heart is also sad because of what all these people around have went through. It was really, it's really terrible. There's a lot of people who lost their lives, and a lot of people that were seriously injured. And uh, and, there, and there's these other states where two uh, that have uh, lost lives and, and property and things, and it's going to be really hard on them. So let me encourage you not only to pray for them, but to also, if you can, see the Lord knows, um, He knows what you can give and what you can't. But there's one thing you can give is prayers. And, and uh, if you can, uh, get a hold of the uh, Red Cross. And, uh, you know, they've been talking like here in this state, you know, not to to send food or, or, or something, you know, but to to give money to them, you know, to help the victims. And and if you can, would you do so? Um, you know, I noticed one thing, and I want to talk about this, and I, and I find this disturbing. And, and it goes to show you the callousness of uh, people's love growing cold. Bible talks of that. Not only talking about uh, people in the church and stuff, their love growing cold, but also people in general. Uh, to the point to where they're more just heartless. Okay, check this out. Now, all right, I'm going to give you an example. Now, here on uh, here in Arkansas. All right, you have like your channel seven and 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 channel four and channel eleven and channel sixteen. You know, uh, local news. All right. All right. Now, when it comes to storm warnings and stuff, when there's storms, life-threatening storms coming through, you know, they they keep their warnings up and they uh, are, are live broadcasting, keeping up and keeping track with the storms. And, of course, you know, they interrupt programming on TV, or regular programming, so they can bring this life-saving uh, information and warnings to people so they can take shelter, know where the storms are at, where they're coming and everything, right? Well, I guess what? It was people complaining! Complaining, having the audacity, the heartlessness to complain about their programming being interrupted, you know, when all this stuff is going on around them. They was upset over Dancing with the Stars because they weren't going to get to watch their Dancing with the Stars. Complaining. That's heartless. You know, they don't have no feeling. You know, and that's sad. You know, it goes to show, you know, uh, we heard about what idolatry is. Something that takes the place of God in your heart. And, and you can sit there and see where their gods lie. Because the true living God is a God of love and compassion and mercy. He's not only a God of judgment, of, of wrath against the ungodly who refuses 
to heed a loving and caring God, just like any parent gets upset and, 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 and grieved over their disobedient children that they love. But here's this thing. These people are, are, are callous. Their hearts, there is no feeling, no compassion, nothing. They don't even care about their own selves. Their own, uh, should I say, their, when I say their own selves, uh, that their own lives. Uh, they, you know, uh, they care nothing except what they want. You know, they, they're programming. They're dancing with the stars. That's their gods. Their idols. Do you have any idols in your heart? Are you callous? Are you like that? Are you Have you checked to see if maybe you're starting to become like that? It's time now to do something about it before it gets to a point where there's nothing there. Except hate, bitterness, and just what you want. You know, fool with anybody else, just what you want. Open your hearts up to God. Open your hearts up to your neighbor. Show compassion. Show pity. Show mercy. And love. Don't, don't be callous. You know, and there's a lot of people on YouTube that will because they love to argue or, or do a shock thing, you know, they'll say anything and be heartless there, too. And hurt people and be mean to people and stuff because no one can see them and, or no one can do anything to them. Uh, you know, they're in their little safety uh, box type thing, you know, that they have created and where they wouldn't have the nerve to even do that to a person to their face, you know, but they find the nerve to do it because of their own bitterness. But when someone's mean to us, we should not curse them or wish ill on them. We should pray for them. Yes, we who live in for Jesus, we have feelings. We can get hurt. We can get angry. Sad, happy, like anyone else. But the thing is, like for anger, it is what you do with it makes it such a sin if you make the wrong choice. And you know, you're, you know, you should love people, your enemies and your neighbors, everyone. Show compassion. So let me urge you don't be heartless and callous. Open your hearts. Like I said, you know, we're all having a feeling of pinch in our pocketbooks in one way or another. But let me encourage you, please, if you have something that you can give, call up the Red Cross or something, you know, uh, send it, send some money to them. Uh, or, you know, if, if you can't, uh, well, pray. But don't be heartless and callous like these people I was telling you about who only care about their own wants, their own lust, you know, they, they you know, who who don't care about anything except just what they want. To serve their gods and not show compassion to anyone. So show mercy and love and compassion to all. I thought that was just so heartless of these people and if I was going to say something you know a message to the uh, Channel 7 news crew weather crew and stuff there in uh, Little Rock I would say to you guys listen you know you do a good job on trying to warn people and stuff and with all these people complaining and stuff you just keep doing your job and showing compassion and mercy but do not allow these heartless souls to continue to try and to stop you from doing what is put in your heart to show mercy and compassion and care and uh, caring about lives 
There is a God, and He is great. And, uh, you know, guys, you know, brothers and sisters on YouTube, I just wanted to encourage you again. Please, you know, if there's anything you can do to help, do so. And God will richly bless you. But don't give because, oh, I'm going to get something in return. I'm going to get something from God if I do this. No, you give because it's in your heart to give because you desire without expecting anything in return. That's the blessings but that will come your way from God. People who give on the grounds of, oh, I'm going to do this so I can get a blessing. No, that's wrong. That's why some people, when they give, they don't get nothing in return except a hard way to go because their heart is wrong. God knows what's in man's heart. He knows what you're thinking. So, uh, show some compassion, okay? Thank you. And God bless you all. And uh, take care. And remember the others. Okay? Remember your neighbors. So, till next time, let me just say, God bless you. Shalom. And ha-ho. Gugayu.